this was a 24 year old primary gravida she came for the obstetric doppler at 36 weeks uh, for a decreased fetal movements uh, there was no significant history doppler was normal all the parameters in the doppler were normal but in the fetal mid abdomen what one could see was this dilated bowel loops, the small bowel loops, uh, which of course had some internal echoes as you can see here inside and this is an abnormally dilated bowel loops. The measurement was about 12 15 millimeters and as you can see here there is a typical kind of a twisted appearance. If you see these bowel loops, there are long segment dilatations. If you closely observe the bowel loops are the walls are echogenic, they are little thick wall. So whenever in obstetric ultrasound you see any abnormal dilatation of the bowel loops, one should always look for the diameter of the bowel loop dilatation, the thickening of the wall, if any, the internal echoes inside and bright. On color Doppler, as you can see here, there is a vascularity seen in this twisted pedicle and these dilated loops are of course, of course seen very well. This is another video which shows the similar findings and you can make out the internal echoes very well, the thickening of the bowel loops and the echogenic bowel loops. The wall is typically echogenic. So what are the ultrasound findings? There is a convoluted mass in the mid abdomen. The dilated bowel loops are seen. It shows a typical appearance of a whirlpool or a snail configuration without any peristalsis. The color Doppler showed signal in the center of the whirlpool image, which may indicate that there are less chances of bowel necrosis in this case. The amniotic was normal. So, this was a typical case of medical volvulus. There are multiple dilated small bowel loops seen. And the upper normal value of small bowel loops in second trimester or even in the third trimester is 7 millimeter in diameter and 15 millimeter in length. Some of the studies say 8 millimeters and 16 millimeter in length, but by and large, the 7 millimeter diameter and a segment which is 15 millimeters in length is very important. The specific whirlpool or snail sign is, of course, we all know this. this is a twisted bowel loop and mesentery around the main superior mesentery artery which we normally see in the midgut volvulus in the pediatric age group also. The visualization of the mesentery vessels by color doctor examination may predict the necrosis of the involved gut. The, if the mesentery vessels are not seen in the midline in the, mid, uh, in the color doctor examination, it will tell us that there are chances of Process of the involved cut. The Doppler investigation in the middle cerebral artery shows an increased systolic velocity, and this in fact helps us to suspect the fetal anemia related to blood sequestration in the necrosed bowel loops. The polyhydramnios may not be present. So, volvulus usually presents most commonly during the first year of life, and fetal intestinal volvulus is extremely rare. Prenatal visualization with ultrasound have been reported in only few cases. It should be suspected antenatally when there is polyhydramnios, intestinal dilatation, ascites and or signs of fetal anemia are present. The follow-up in this particular patient was that the patient was told about prognosis in terms of requirement of immediate surgery and the complications related to sepsis etc. The neonatal morbidity was explained to the patient. So there was some delay in the delivery and after four days of initial diagnosis, the patient was delivered and neonet was operated, volvulus was confirmed. There was no bowel atresia, but by this time there was a necrosis of the bowel segment and the resection anastomosis was needed. Baby was fine, in fact was discharged. Baby was alive for one month and then died at 30 days due to neonatal sepsis and basically the morbid these kind of operations. So the points to remember are fetal midgut volvulus as a specific clinical echographic presentation. The main complaint of the pregnant woman is the absence of fetal movements. The ultrasound examination usually gives the diagnosis by typical image of the whirlpool or that snail configuration without peristalsis and placed centrally in the intestinal necrosis and blood sequestration can be diagnosed by surgical anemia 
by the MCA Doppler, more than 100 centimeters per second velocity indicates the pupil anemia. In this patient, we were lucky to see the whirlpool sign, but suppose there was a delay in presentation and by the time we see the patient, we see the mother, if the typical whirlpool is not seen and you can just see the dilated loops, equogenic vowel loops, and then if you do a Doppler and see that there is fetal anemia, you can suspect the uh, uh, midgut volvulus better and more likely chances of like, volvulus can be given because delivery must take place in a tertiary center. Immediate surgical correction is very important and that is what can save the child's life.